Hi Aries, welcome to your love and general tarot reading for the first half of October. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Aries in this reading, we're going to take a look at everything. Taking a look at love, money, career, friends, family, advice, guidance. Whatever comes out, I will tell you what I see. So welcome in, welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy Aries placements in your chart, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And if an energy comes out and you're like, well, that's not me directly, but it's, you know, another energy around you, you can definitely uh, switch energies around anytime you feel the need to. All right, for Aries, what do we have for the first half of October? Everything you need to know, well, that's like way too many, about me and my channel, Aries, is down below in the description box. Lots of stuff down there. My Patreon, I do usually extendeds on mostly the love readings. That's something you're interested in. Lots of stuff down there. No extended here today. All right. There is a couple of polls up on the community tab, so if you have not voted yet, please do go check that out. All right, for Aries. What is the energy for Aries? First half of October spirit, please. What do we, okay, that one definitely wanted to jump. All right, so we're gonna look at the oracles, we'll pull some tarot, and then we'll get some advice and guidance for you at the end of the reading. So we have here, inner voice, and we have 28, which is 10. 10 is about completions, but then there's always new beginnings or it can be about full circles um, here. So you're needing to trust your inner voice, kind of like your intuition, your higher knowing, your gut feeling, uh, what your soul is really trying to tell you at this time. And I kind of see two hands reaching out there. So if you've been feeling guided to either reach out to somebody in your life could be anybody you know maybe it's time to finally answer that call and we have deep replenishment retreat rest be held and it's kind of funny here because we have the two hands here rising up like reaching out so the universe is really spirit really trying to tell you here is maybe you need some uh, assistance help or guidance uh first half half of october maybe you have too many responsibilities you're too busy you don't have time for yourself um, you don't have time to take some time for you so this is telling you to rest rejuvenate maybe even going you know into a little bit of a hermit mode you know just to have some me time maybe a little midi vacation staycation i don't know, call out sick a day from work or something like that and just have a day for yourself and we have world energy and it says here the earth is going through a transition well isn't that true of energy and your sensitive body is feeling it you're not alone except the help the help of others wow and i had just said that so you're really um i feel like <laughs> overwhelmed overwhelmed first half of october all right somebody may be reaching out to you or you may be feeling like i said the energy that you may want to reach out to somebody and that could be separate from um all the responsibilities you have in life it could be a love interest all right so let's see here so i definitely feel like a heavy energy around what's going on in the world today is really affecting you uh, you're having trouble understanding it you just don't understand why it's all happening all right, so what is going on for Aries for the first half of October? Spirit, please, thank you so much. All right. So we have the Eight of Air, Eight of Swords. We're kind of stuck in your head about something here going round and round. Sun is the happiest card in the deck, so there is happiness to be had for you here. Aries and you know sun does represent to me you know soulmate energy also but it's happiness joy success victory enlightenment growth expansion happy home and family happiest card in the deck we have Leo 
Eight of Earth, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're working too much, putting too much time and effort into something that's kind of got you stuck in bound here with the Eight of Swords. I mean, I feel like you enjoy doing this, whatever it is for you, whether it's your work or, you know, you spend a lot of time and effort, you know, maybe helping others. It could be friends, it could be family. You enjoy doing it, but you kind of feel bound and stuck to the energies also. All right. Somebody could, somebody you work with also could see you as their happiness and joy. So, or you see somebody in that light, but somebody's stuck in their head about it for some reason. Let's see. Eight of fire. Wow. A lot of eights here. Eights are travel action communication. They, they do call this Cupid's arrows. So, I mean, eight of wands is about taking action. Could be about text messages, sending out a message. I feel like somebody is stuck in their head. Aries about either reaching out to you or you reaching out to them. I feel like it's a love interest, someone that kind of brightens your day, feel like very happy, joyous. They could have a good sense of humor. They really, um, they really shine. They really make you laugh. Very happy energy. And it's funny, we have 19. The sun is 19, which is 10 again. So that's two tens. So there's some sort of new beginning here. And we have three eights. Hmm. Which is 24, which would be six. Peace, harmony, balance. Emperor. Hmm. Is it a boss? Aries? This is Aries. So this just could speak to, yes, we're talking about you. Or maybe you are a boss, or maybe this is about a boss of yours, or somebody of high stature, or maybe somebody who owns their own business, uh, rules an empire, is an entrepreneur. You could also be thinking about um, branching out on your own and creating your own business or your own enterprise or something like that. But you may be a little stuck in your head about how to do it, how to go forward, how do I start this, how do I take action on it but i see the sun here is the best card in the deck that it would bring you ultimate fulfillment king of water this is about following your heart this could be pisces this could be somebody that's holding back their love their emotions their feelings but they know how they truly feel so this is either you, you know feeling like maybe you love somebody but you're not telling them want to tell them but stuck in your head about sending out a message, if it's just, hey, how are you? Or connecting on social media. I feel like for some, it could be somebody you work with, or it's a work, um, not work, a place of business, maybe you frequent often, and this person owns this business also. I still feel like some of you, oh my gosh, look at this, the queen of water just popped out. We have divine counterparts here. This is soulmate energy here, Aries. You have a soulmate in your energy somewhere. So we have Cancer Pisces. Or this is telling you you really need to balance out your masculine and feminine energies here. Listen to your inner voice. Maybe there's a business you'd like to start, something creative, and you feel like it would help... Um, if not the world, maybe at least your community, and you feel like you're contributing to resolving or helping the energy of the world today. But I feel like you don't have time to do this because you have deep replenishment, which is saying that you're overwhelmed, you have too much responsibility, too much of a workload. So you may not even have time to get this project underway or this endeavor, whatever it is for you. It could be somebody that um, you're creating this with that could actually be a soulmate also. All right. Could also speak of parents here. Um, so maybe for some of you, uh, this has to do with um, your parents. The emperor can be a father figure, a parental figure. So maybe you, you're taking care of your parents. Maybe they're up there in age and they you know need a lot of assistance at this time. So that could be something that's also taking up your energy. We do have the Messenger of Fire. This is the Knight of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. You know, and this is about going after what you want. A lot of fire, drive, ambition, creative energy, and just going for it and getting it done. Sometimes the page of, uh, not the page, but the Knight of Wands, they're like, oh, it's a player, very in and out energy. I mean, it could be, maybe this is someone you're kind of dating and it's not serious. It's fun, it's flirty. 
you know, just have good times together. But I do see two people that have mutual feelings towards each other. So if it's just very in and out, it's casual, there's hidden feelings, I feel, on both sides here. All right, let's get one more for Aries. 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 And the moon. Oh my gosh, look at this. Masculine and feminine energies. Moon is Pisces again. And this is about listening to your voice, your intuition, your higher knowing. No, ha maybe having a little bit of fear of the unknown. Someone may have a little bit of fear of the unknown, the path up ahead. Where is it going? Where is it leading to? Can I trust this? But really needing to listen to intuition here. And moon is all about cycles and rhythms and changes too. Moon changes how many times every month? Wow, sun and moon, 18, 19, masculine, feminine energy, matching counterparts here. King and queen of water. Cups. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Well, we have a queen of earth now. Capricorn energy. So I don't know if uh, there's three people involved here or what. But we have the world now. So it's about closing out cycles. New cycle starting. Could be traveling or distance. Completion of something. Maybe whatever this is um, that you may be wanting to start. Again, it could be an endeavor, a project, or something like that. Some sort of charity work maybe for some. Uh, maybe involve traveling. Or somebody does a lot of traveling for work. But um, you know, it's about new cycle starting. So, I mean, we do have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio here. Maybe somebody is closing out a cycle with an uh, Earth sign, which could be uh, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, though. And then we have Hangman. So it could be that somebody is still stuck. I mean, the queen, king or queen of Earth can be uh, a married person. Also, again, can be a parental figure. So... Either somebody here, because we do have the hangman, Pisces energy, which can be, you know, a little bit stuck, just like the Eight of Swords, but the hangman does gain enlightenment, new, pers new perspectives, and then does take action once they um, get every detail, aspect, they learn, you know, the new perspectives and enlightenment, and then they take action in, like, a new direction. So I kind of feel like here... Um, Somebody may be stuck. Maybe somebody is still married and they're kind of stuck in that situation. But I do see that that situation could be closing out for them here. That could be the messenger of fire. Could be a message. Though that is the knight of wands. But with the word messenger here, it could be getting the message also. So let's just clarify here. Um, I want to see who this queen of pentacles is. That's way too many. Who is this queen of pentacles who is this queen messenger of water this is the knight of cups so i mean that is about moving forward in love making you know the romantic effort in a loving situation or somebody moving forward following their heart you know this queen of earth could also be somebody who is stable grounded secure they make their money they own their own business um, and things are changing, you know, no getting unstuck in a situation and finally things are changing for the better here with the world energy, things finally moving forward. But I mean, we have the king and the queen of cups along with the knight of cups. Let's see what the hanged man is. Let's get one more on these energies from the bottom of the deck for Aries. For Aries, please. War of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody here could be getting divorced or separated or ending a cycle with someone where the Four of Cups is kind of boring, melancholy, blah. Not a lot, lot of love, emotions, or excitement left in, a, in the connection. So definitely something closing out here. I mean, the Eight of Swords is being trapped. So a lot of different energies here. I feel like for love, um, Aries, there is a connection here. So it's either somebody you work with, somebody that owns their own business, someone maybe you're creating something new with, and there is a connection, or maybe someone you're dating and it's not serious, but there are hidden feelings between the two of you. You both actually do deep down feel the same. 
because we do have um, masculine and feminine energies here. Some may be taking care of their parents or family members. It's taking a lot of their time. But there's a need here, definite need to uh, lay down some responsibilities. Um, yeah, as I say that, the Ten of Wands is about being overwhelmed, overburdened, and having more time for oneself. And for some of you, are thinking about starting your own business, but you don't have the time to get it off the ground. You know, it could be a side project, endeavor, or something like that. Um, I do feel like you're working hard at whatever you're doing now, but you're feeling trapped and you don't have time to start this other project, whatever you want to do here. And somehow you got to, I feel like you need to find a way to try to, um, yeah, chariot moving forward, incorporate this into your energy. But you could be a little stressed about it here with the Nine of Swords. I do feel like some of you are working hard. You do have the sun coming in here. So there is definitely some sort of happiness and joy coming your way. So let's get you um, some advice and guidance. Aries. So take, you know, take the messages how they resonate for you. However they fit in to your situation. Again, you know, if it's not you, it could be somebody else, mixture of both. But let's see what the universe, spirit wants you to know, advice and guidance from spirit, from the universe. This is the power of surrender. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. And we just had that here. Listen to your body's message about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Yeah, exactly. So letting go of those things that drain you and moving forward in those things that make you happy. Drained is the Ten of Wands. Happy is the Sun. And moving forward is the Chariot, which we have right there. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles under that. Total wealth, abundance, prosperity. Let's get one more. One more for Aries. I feel like there's definitely a soulmate in your midst. <laughs> kind of what I want to say here. So we have surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily and kind of like rising from the phoenix there. So definitely here an energy here of needing to find your sanctuary, your inner peace taking some time for you, listening to your body, do what makes you feel good, and don't do what drains you, and only move forward into peace, harmony, and balance here with the sun, best card in the deck. And there's a soulmate in your energy somewhere, Aries. All right, Aries, so I hope that resonated for you. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Wishing you the best. And if you did like this, it resonated for you, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Wishing you the best. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I shall see you next time.